Yo guys, welcome back to another reaction. Today we are reacting to Le Seraphim Unforgiven Feet Nile Rogers. Look, I really don't know who this man is. I did Google him and um, it seems like he made some very old tracks, so I really have no idea who this is. He probably did work on some very popular tracks in the last decade, but I really never paid attention. Anyways, I feel so much hype. Everyone in the K-pop industry keeps their eye on Le Seraphim and when they have a release, I feel like everyone's here. Um, ju that's just the feeling I get, like very grand, I don't know why. Anyways, let's start the reaction. Alright, let's start. Also, I don't think they're gonna beat Anti-Fragile. Um, I think that song is one of the top in the decade. It's really hard to beat. But I expect the production and I already see wow. The music video already is very interesting. Zoom. Ooh. Ooh, a bit of the western wild The, the, the production already. I feel some western vibe here. Also cowboys. The low note. Oh. I really don't know where this is going. Damn. Wait, is this this is the catchy part? Oh, oh this is all less terrifying. They look amazing. Ooh, the, the sound. Oh my god. So cool. Ooh, I love The chorus is very interesting. Like this sounds like something. But this is the pre-chorus. Wow, these moves are all like from past uh, releases. Yo. Man, just I can't show. Mm -hmm. Was that Cheryl? They delivered. Well, I, I, I think these are only just credits. Yep. What can I say? Um, this is so Le Seraphim. It feels like a throwback to all of their past releases, especially with the choreography. Now, I'm, I'm not a dude that always pays attention to the choreography and the moves. 
um, but I can see that they did some moves like from Fearless, maybe it's from anti Raja, I'm not sure. Also from the sound, it's very like Western, cowboy, desert kind of vibe. And I love how strong it um, starts, the intro is very strong. Um, you get a taste of that very catchy bit of the pre-chorus and we go into hard hitting verses. Um, I really love their voice, the vocally they sound amazing. But here's a hot take. I think this song actually is one of their weakest title tracks. They had three title tracks. But I feel like from first listen it does not stand out as much as some. I think Anti-Fragile is still like number one. I can't really decide if this is better than Fearless. Um, because Fearless is just so iconic and I really can't decide. This song is way faster. Way more hype, I guess, than Fearless. So maybe in that way it does beat Fearless, but I'm still not sure. But I really don't even mind. I think this song is gonna catch new fans, especially international fans. But what I'm also very excited for is the album. I'm gonna react to that right now. So yeah. Anyways, if you did like my video or not, leave a like or dislike. Subscribe for more content like this. Follow my social media, and I'll see you in the next video.